Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so, so much going on, so much to talk about, especially when it comes to the Real Housewives of Miami. It looks like we have a housewife who obviously was stunned. She did not see this coming when it came to her divorce um, or her husband filing for divorce. And I actually feel really bad. Because now what we're hearing is she is pretty much under the assumption that this divorce was because of her sons, which nobody wants to feel like that. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, I say let's pop off. All right, guys. So we are about to get into all of this um, as one does, right? Because we have the Alexia of it all to address. Now, thank you to Reality Blurb. Alexia Echevarria was reportedly blindsided by her strange husband, Todd Napola's divorce filing last week. After the 56-year-old Real Housewives Miami cast member took to her Instagram story on Monday to share that she was shocked and heartbroken, a couple of insiders have come forward noting that Alexia is hurting and suspects the reason behind Todd's desire to dissolve their marriage has a lot to do with her two sons, Peter and Frankie. Everyone is shocked. It's very surprising, is what a source told Us Weekly on April 17th. Alexia loves hard. She's all about love. She is romantic in that respect. She is hurting right now. She loves Todd, and she's devastated, and it all came as a shock. Now, a second insider echoed similar sentiments. Things were good between her and Todd, days leading up to him filming. She had no idea that there were signs, and Alexia believes he wanted to keep her in the dark about how he was feeling about ending their marriage because he knew she would try and convince him otherwise. Now, as Real Housewives of Miami fans well know, Alexia shares two sons with her ex-husband Peter Rosello Sr., whom she married to she was married to from 1992 to 1996. And Todd and Peter, Alexia's oldest child, haven't always seen eye to eye. Alexia believes the breakup has a lot to do with her sons. And she said Peter tried to warn her about him. According to a second report, Alexia and Todd's split could get messy when it comes to dividing their assets, despite the fact that they signed a prenuptial agreement before they got married. There is a presumption that everything is part of the community in split 50-50, is what attorney Nima Romani told Us Weekly on April 17th, but that's not the case in Florida. The Florida presumption is that everything's held by a spouse individually as separate property that is their own. In the event of a divorce, they get to keep it. According to the attorney, what Alexia and Todd each get to keep after their split will be determined by whether or not they own their assets as individuals or as a couple. And when it comes to their current rental, which is said to be a $45,000 per month rental apartment, they'll both be on the hook to continue making payments until their lease expires. When it comes to the other assets, cars, banks, accounts, you have to do the accounting to see who gets what. It's really called tracing. Now, Nima went on to state that a family law judge will have to determine what is the source of the funds. Is it my separate property that it's going through an account in which the money comes to me in the event of a divorce? Is it my separate property, but I just commingle it? Or is it that, you know, gifted to a spouse such that it ends up being shared? Now, amid the swirling reports regarding Todd's filing, Alexia returned to her Instagram story with a second message for her fans and followers on Wednesday, just yesterday, saying, The outpouring love and support that I have received from all of you has truly warmed my heart. Thank you. I love you all. Todd was Alexia's third husband following her split from Peter Sr. in 1996. She went on to marry her second husband, Herman Echevarria, who died in 2016. And she married him in 2004. So um, we still don't know right now when the next season is going to be in play. But here's a clip. Thank you to Byway Hello Drama. May or may not know. The news just broke that uh, Alexia's husband, Todd, has filed for divorce. Um, we're all a little shocked. And, and so, you know, 
it's not a good day for her to be here and participate. Um, what can I say? I'm, I'm completely taken by surprise. I mean, I didn't see this coming. It's, um, it, it rips my heart apart because I just, I can only put myself in her shoes and know how hard this must be for her. If anyone knows that Alexia will see better times ahead, it's me. If there's anything I know about Alexia, she's strong and she's a fighter and resilient. She's been through a lot and she always comes out on the other end shining. As you may or may not know, the news just broke that uh, Alexia's husband, Todd, has filed for divorce. Okay, well, obviously, uh, Alexia does know and everyone knows that this is happening. But again, I do feel really bad. I feel bad for Alexia. I think that it's not fair and nobody, my God, I would be devastated. And I think that sometimes we always try to pretend like, you guys like how I'm just like sitting cock out, out of the chair? That's okay. I'm just comfortable. But a lot of times I think that we love to pretend like we have it all together and sometimes work takes precedence and all of the things but i think it would be so devastating as somebody who's married and i've been with my husband for 10 years now um i just i couldn't even imagine being blindsided by that i think it would be devastating it would be heart-wrenching it would probably just be one of the worst moments in my life so my my heart goes out to her and her boys, her sons, and I feel bad for her. But what I do love for Alexia is that she is surrounded by lots of love, lots of friends, lots of family. So I think that's good. But it's not done. It doesn't stop there. Hold on. Again, by way of hello drama. I wanted to share this. This was a little random, but Andy Cohen and his co-host John Hill discussed the latest Bravo news. Candace Taylor Bassett announcing her pregnancy, the new Roni housewife, and Crystal not returning to Beverly Hills. Here we go. For Bravo News, very happy to, for Candace's pregnancy news. She's 13 weeks, she announced this week. About her leaving the show, she confided that she was pregnant, and I was so excited. And I just think it's great. It's, it's great. I mean, I think that we all think it's great, so that's good, because we're all very happy for her. But um, we're not done friend of right now she's been filming what's the deal i can't say anything all right well everyone from one source one source was like oh she's confirmed she's on the show the other was like she's just been filming we'll see i didn't realize she's a scientologist that's fun um so i'll keep my eye out for anything else and keep asking when you can say something uh let's oh can i just say one more thing about yeah. housewives news yeah um I thought Crystal's announcement that she wasn't coming back, it was yeah. so, first of all, I mean, she looked like best ever. But second of all, it was just so eloquent and classy, I thought. I just, I was like, wow, that's the way to do it. I just thought it was great. So I love Crystal. Yes. Each week for Bravo News. Okay. Well, now... You guys know what the question begs. What do we think? What are our thoughts? How do we feel? Where do we go from here? All of the things. So pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.